What's up guys, Bloodvane here, back again with another WoW Model Viewer tutorial. Now this video is a response to two questions that I've been asked. Um, one I've, I've been asked you know, quite a few times, and it's about how to fix shoulders, how to make the shoulders look right, because I don't know, you've probably noticed that when you open up WoW Model Viewer. Sometimes when you load shoulders on like orcs or humans, the shoulders are like either way too big or way too small, and that's what this video is going to cover. Also, I got uh, asked another question about fixing hairstyles. Like sometimes you'll load a new character and the hairstyles just don't work or they don't look right or the head's missing or something along those lines. So those two things we're gonna cover on this video. And if you got a question of something you would like uh, you would like to answer to, just leave a comment down below or, or preferably go to my website at bloodvein.net. Registration is free. It's a free membership. Um, I know some people were confused about that. I even got uh, someone sent me a message saying that they were excited when my they realized I released a website, but was you know disheartened that it was you know that you had to pay for it. And I was like, no, that's only that's a you don't have to pay for the website. That's only if you want to help support it, but you can still download various things from our website. Um, mainly what the uh, the little $5 a month fee covers when you get the premium membership is you get bigger downloads and stuff because some of those files are really big. Like take for instance the texture pack. Like I think one of them has like over like 30 images or something like that. And each image alone is like seven or eight megabytes. So you can imagine how big that download is. And uh, it, with, the, with the amount of people that are downloading stuff from my website, that would kill me on bandwidth and would be crazy expensive. So that's the only reason I set up a payment like that so that, you know, one, you're helping me out and it takes all the ads off the website for like five bucks a month. And for you helping me out, I give you these bigger downloads. Uh, but even, even, even so, you don't have to get a premium membership to download stuff on my website. I just want to throw that out. You can still download stuff. It's, it's still there. Um, it's just an option. But anyways, okay, so I digress. Let's go ahead and jump uh, into this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and open up WoW Model Viewer. And let's, uh, do, 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 do. let's make an orc. I like orcs. Make an orc male. Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, all right, so let's go and change his skin color. Let's make him like this and face type. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. How about there we go? We can be thralls balls. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, all right, let's go with hairstyles. Let's change the hairstyle. So as you see, look, this is what I was talking about. See, some of the hairstyles are not showing up. The ponytail does, um, but some of these other hairstyles are not showing up. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. But let's go ahead and change the hair color real quick. I like black. Let's go with the facial. Uh, not facial hair color. Doo -doo. Ah, there we go. All right. So first off, we're going to talk about doing the hairstyles. So let's go into click on view. And then uh, we want to go to show model control. So it's right here. We can pop that out if you, if, uh, if you want. So if you look here, we've got different hairstyles. I can't make that box bigger. This is where, this is where the problem's coming in. Let's see if I can mimic. All right, so let's say you load a character and it kind of looks like this. Then you need to go to model control and do this, and this will fix it. Or you just may need to play around with some of the hairstyles. So, yeah, we got definitely got something missing there. Ah, there we go. I think that's uh, that's not the right one because, see, we're still missing some couple of things. Uh, oh, there we go. So... No, not that one. That one. And then the ponytail thingies were right there. There we go. Ah, now we fixed the hairstyle. So basically, if you're having a problem with the hair, or let's say uh, the top of the head, like right in here, is missing, basically you just need to go to view, model control, and then you need to go through here and kind of click on some of these hairstyles and stuff to see what exactly is messed up or what is missing. So that's how to fix that. So let's go ahead and load up some shoulders. Um, oop. Come back here. Hey, why do you keep disappearing on me? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. Uh, we'll just go with those. So if we have him standing, and I, I noticed this problem the other day. I was working on something for skill cap. So if he's standing here, the shoulders look about right. I, th I think those may be a little too big. Uh, but when I go, when I like change them to do something else, let's pause them. You see how small the shoulders get? Those are definitely way too small. So to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We'll just do it all over again. So what we're going to do is going to click on View. And we're going to click on Show Model Control. Now we're going to drop this, uh, click this top, this uh, drop down menu up here. And let's go with the left shoulder. And uh, let's say we're just going to 
mess with the scale right here. Let's say, let's say like maybe that looks about right. That's about how big his shoulder should be. Uh, maybe they're a little bit bigger. I don't know the exact number what they should be. I can just play around with them till it, till it actually you know looks the way that you think it's supposed to look. So now we have that. So now we have 1.36. You can just, you know, if it's something like, you know, just forget all these zeros. Just say 1.36. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the uh, the bottom uh, shoulder. And let's go ahead and put in 1.36. Hit enter. Now you see how the uh, art on it changed? Now what we want to do is go down here into the animation. And if you don't have that open, you just go on click. You go click on view. And then click show animation control. And then this little window thing right here will pop up. Um, you see this little drop down menu? It says uh, shoulder plate. Let's just click on the top one and then we'll just, I'm going to use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down until we find the one that matches uh, the other shoulder. And it looks like it's going to be this one right here. My shoulder still looks a little, oh, maybe I didn't hit in there. There we go. All right, so there we go. Now we have the uh, shoulders fixed, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, oh, well, go back to the drop down menu and click Orc Mail. So, now, oh, <laughs> ginormous shoulders. That, that happens. Um, <coughs> it happens with this, uh, sorry. This happens when it's in the animation of stand. Um, but when you switch it over to, like, say, stand wound, they go back to the size that you originally made them. Right there. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure and leave me a like and favorite because it really does help you out. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below uh, asking your question. Or if it's a long question, go to bloodvein.net, sign up for a free account, and uh, leave, a, leave your question on the forums. And either myself or somebody else will do all that we can to answer your question. And if your question happens to be like the other guys that uh, asked about you know, these two things that we just covered in this video, if it's a, if it's a question that, you know... I should make a video about and let everyone else know because maybe a lot of people have the same same kind of question then I'll do what I just did here I'll make a video and I'll upload it to my channel all right. so other than that I hope you enjoy this video and again don't forget to hit the like and favorite for me and I will see you all later